The trains in SCR have been one of the biggest changes since it was released. The quality of the train models has only improved over the years. In this short documentary, we'll be looking at the evolution of the trains in SCR. When the game was released, the Class 700, which was the only train, was made out of decals that were made in an image editing program and pasted on the sides in front of the train. These models had no interior and were very low quality. The decals were very pixelated and you could just walk into the train wherever you wanted. The doors didn't even work. These decal trains were referred to as paper trains. On May 14th, 2019, the 1.3 update was dropped and the class 1458 was released on Connect and the 508 on Waterline. These trains revolutionized the game because they were made out of Roblox parts and models. This upgrade was, would allow the devs, aka MattyX2013, to add full interiors, working doors, actual walls, see-through windows, and much more detail. These trains were known as Next Generation V1 or NGV1. Throughout the course of 2019 and 2020, these trains were rolled out on the line. On May 1st, 2021, with the 1.5 update, the final trains were upgraded from paper models with the 380 getting the new step for connect delivery. The model trains had only increased in quality with the more that were made. The 158 wasn't the best looking, but the 380 looked like nothing ever seen before. In the 1.6 update, the class 720, 707, 333, and 332 were remodeled using Roblox's CSG modeling with more accurate curved fronts and new cabs. These trains were known as Next Generation V2 or NGV2. August 20th, 2020, the 1.6.5 update, aka the 15 million visits update drops. With this update, the Airlink Class 802 was upgraded to a model made in 3D modeling software like Blender. The train featured detailed seats, higher quality walls, tables, liveries, cabs, etc. These trains are known as Next Generation V3 or NGV3. At this point, about half of the trains on the network are NGV3, but there are new ones coming very often. Heck, we had four upgrades and a new train all in just two days. We got a chance to interview Jack, a Stepford Connect driver about halfway through the rollout of these new NGV3 trains. He talks about the experiences of different types of trains and the transitions from paper to NG. Hello, I'm Jack, a driver for Stepford Connect. I've been driving for Stepford Connect since 2006 and I enjoy my job. Over my 16 years of driving, I've got to experience all the 700 series trains. From the 700s to the new 707s, it's been a hell of an experience. The old 700s were really simple to drive and had very good acceleration and braking, but I don't miss how there was no cab, windows, seats, etc. Even with all the downsides, they were still a pleasure to drive. When the 700s were replaced by the 707s, there wasn't really much to change. The 707s were basically the same, but once they got upgraded, everything changed. They actually had seats, windows, doors, and cabs. They weren't. They were much fun to drive because of all the new things. Finally, 707s got upgraded with the new NGV3 remodel after a year of waiting, and they're pretty amazing. As you can see, there are a lot of good things about the new trains. I hope to see more come out in the future, but for now, we're still stuck with the old NGV1 trains for a bit longer. Thank you very much for watching.